Now is a good time to kind of give us a, a review of how we can transform graphs as well. Remember how to do that? So let's say we have a rational function, 1 over x squared. And we want to use transformations to help us learn how to graph 1 over x minus 2 squared plus 1. So let's start with 1 over x squared. And that graph has a horizontal asymptote at 0, has a vertical asymptote at 1, or has a vertical asymptote at 0. Both are at 0. And this is the graph 1 over x squared. Okay, let's do our next transformation. We're going to shift the entire graph over two spots to the right. And you can see that at 2, I have a vertical asymptote. The entire graph is going to be shifted over two spots. And now this graph represents 1 over x minus 2 squared. And the last transformation that we're going to do is add that 1. Remember what that 1 does? That constant takes the entire graph and shifts it up. So I still have a vertical asymptote at 2. I now I also have a horizontal asymptote, which was originally at 0, but now it's at 1. And then my graph, I'll take that graph and just shift everything on up 1. And now I have the graph of 1 over x minus 2 squared plus a 1. Wanted to say something else about that, but I don't remember. Anyway, remember how to do transformations? One step at a time. Here we were able to draw the original graph, shift it over to the right two spots, shift the entire graph up one spot, and keep track of where my asymptotes are at, because they'll be changing as I'm moving as well.